In this morning's Health Watch, the danger of the office candy dish. According to a recent Cornell University study, the average American worker is packing on nearly seven pounds a year. One reason? that easily accessible, bite-sized treat you can find in offices across America. Early show contributor Taryn Winterbrill has the not-so-sweet story. There are 150 million Americans in the workforce, and nearly a third of them are on a diet. While eating right and getting the proper amount of exercise is paramount to success, simply walking into the office can threaten the most honest effort. Because those candy jars, filled with bite-sized snacks to get you through a tough day's work, are everywhere. It's ridiculous what it does. Brian Wansink wrote the book Mindless Eating and says that candy sitting on the desks of our co-workers is expanding our waistlines. Simply having a clear, close candy dish on your desk ended up uh, resulting in people gaining about seven pounds more over the course of a year than they otherwise would have. Wansink argues that candy left out in the open can wreak havoc on a diet, even when you're not hungry. <laughs> to test Wansink's findings, we prepared a bowl of candy and set it out in our newsroom. Within one minute, we had our first taker. What is this? Minutes later, we had a few more. Oh my God! Of course, there were several people who passed. Not doing it. Which isn't so easy to do, according to Wansink. You find yourself looking at it, it's just going to be a matter of time before you say, I deserve that. Some may have felt they deserved a lot, like producer Andrew Schutzman. You actually went to that candy dish six times. Six times? Yeah. Did you know it was that many? No, I didn't. In fact, I only remember going once or twice. Andrew grabbed an additional 600 calories during our experiment. If this were a daily routine, he'd pack on 40 pounds within a year. All bets are off. When there's candy out on the table, I'm, I'm going for it. Taking the candy simply because it was there appeared to be a trend. It's so addicting. Plus, when it's right in front of you like it was for us. They will look at that candy dish, and within a second of looking at it, they've grabbed the candy and eaten it. And this happens. They're not even aware it goes on. But simply moving it six feet away, we found, ends up reducing by half how much candy people take. That's welcome news to the early show staffers, since our candy drawer is tucked away in a file cabinet at the far end of the office. What do you like? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Steve Cohen, thanks for the candy drawer. Uh, joining us now is nutritional psychologist Dr. Amanda Baton. Uh, good to have you back with us Hi this there. morning. So when we look at that, I mean, I, I will say in the news business, pretty much if you put out anything for free to eat, we will scarf it down. Yes. Candy's no exception, but what is it about candy specifically that's so difficult to pass up? Well, I think it's de designed as a reward. We sort of grow up in a culture where candy or sweets are given as, you know, a treat. So it's hard to pass that by, but usually, you know, people are just going for that in the middle of the afternoon when they're tired or bored or whatever. So it's just that it's a lot of it is the boredom, as you point out. As, as we heard in Taryn's piece, this is called mindless eating right. in a, a lot of it's ways. It's automatic. It's an automatic behavior that's developed, as you see through that tape, you know, going up and not even realizing that you're taking that. So then how do you, how do you change that behavior? Because we know ultimately the benefit is huge for your health. So what's the, the first thing you say we should do is actually t think about how you're feeling before you take the candy. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what are you, ask yourself, what am I feeling before I go up and, and grab something? What am I feeling? Am I tired? Am I thirsty? Often people are thirsty when they think they're hungry. Am I lonely? Have I not, you know, moved out of my computer, you know, all day long? That's what you ask yourself first. So once you figure out how, what, what you're really feeling, then you identify a response. So what would be an alternative response to grabbing the candy? Right. Maybe go get your girlfriend and walk outside and get a little bit of sun for five minutes or go get a glass of water, right? Or plan ahead and maybe have a snack of something that's healthy, not just empty calories like sugar. Because the water may not do it for everybody either. <laughs> water may not, but you really might be thirsty. Right. So that, and it's good or, to have that little stash right. of your own. And that's sort of the preventative action, right? Exactly, exactly. Replace one ineffective pattern with a healthier and more effective one. Okay. Um, it also has a lot to do with the way that it's presented. So as, as we saw there, we had a clear glass bowl of candy. Turns out, if it's that visible, we may actually eat more of it? It's true. In this one, you can see what's available. It's there. It's alluring. You go up, you grab it, and you can grab five or six of these, and we're talking about hundreds of calories over the course of a day. Wow. In the opaque container, what, this, what the research have found that is that you know, when you don't see what the candy is, you're not grabbing it as often, so there's one less visit 
throughout the day. That's what the researchers have found. Which can be important. And over here we have in this clear container, this is one of your suggestions, put out baby carrots or maybe even nuts or something a little bit this healthier. This is a healthier alternative. And what the same researchers from Cornell found was that people came up with the same frequency to the bags of carrots and So everybody's saying calories. there's no way anybody would take those carrots. They're not chocolate. They're full of it. Right. They we are take full them of all it the same. with the same frequency. Huh. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take these first snacks Great. for later. Or almonds are good. I know that you hold on to almonds. So I do. I keep option. little packs of almonds in my desk. Great. And now carrots. Amanda, thanks. Thank you. Just ahead, the high cost of going to college. Student loans are reaching record levels. Tips this morning on how to pay them off. We'll be right back. This is The Early Show on CBS. CBS.